Lil Baby speaks the truth about his relationship with Takeoff. Lil Baby has shared his reaction to Takeoff's demise and has left a couple of fans shocked. While fans shouldn't have a problem with this, it was surprising because Lil Baby and Takeoff weren't exactly on good terms when Takeoff was alive. So what is it that Lil Baby said about Takeoff that left fans shocked? Is it the fact that maybe they didn't really have beef in the get-go? Let's check it out to find out. Welcome to our channel. In this video, we will look at Lil Baby's statement about Takeoff's demise. Ride with me as we get to it. The lapse in Takeoff and Lil Baby's relationship began in 2020 when the Migos had a run-in with their record label, Quality Control. Migos sued the record label with the claim that they were being cheated out of millions of dollars by the lawyer who drafted the contract, a guy named Damian Granderson. The news of their lawsuit against the record label became public, and the CEO, Pierre P. Thomas, wasn't happy about it at all, and he decided to take action on it. He said, I would not stand by and let Quality Control's music reputation and everything we built and sacrificed be tarnished by allegations of unfair and unjust business practices. However, Pierre P. didn't need to do the work himself as other artists under the record label were already ready to take action. Lil Baby and his crew reportedly claimed to have acted on behalf of the record label when his crew jumped Takeoff over the lawsuit. The 4PF crew went on to attack Takeoff while he was at a restaurant in Atlanta. The attack came like some sort of secret operation because there was nobody who knew anything about it. There was little to no leak on it. But what happened after that proved that a conflict was brewing between both crews. The Migos went ahead to unfollow Baby on Instagram. Not only that, they also ignored him during interviews. A good example was when they were asked about what they thought about Lil Baby being a quality control artist during one of these interviews, and if they supported his music career, Quavo simply said, for sure, while Offset and Takeoff stood and didn't say anything at all. Now, with the history behind him and given his silence since Takeoff's passing, fans didn't expect any word on Takeoff's demise from Lil Baby. So, they were shocked when he broke his silence after a few days. Not only did he break his silence, but he also revealed a lot of things about him and Takeoff's relationship. While everyone believes they never liked each other, Lil Baby claimed Takeoff was one of the coolest people he had ever met. He shared on a post on his Instagram story a picture of himself and Takeoff and captioned it, one of the coolest ever, no matter what. Anytime we see each other, it's always I love you, I'm proud of you. I hate this for you, dog. He also shared a tweet in regards to this, saying, I ain't think I would never see no shit like this. Long live Takeoff. Takeoff isn't the only Migos member Lil Baby said to have issues with, though. The first Migos member he openly beat up was rapper Offset in March 2020. Lil Baby allegedly set up his 4PF crew to attack Offset outside of the popular Atlanta night spot, Compound. The video of the incident was shared on social media, and Offset could be seen being attacked by a group of people. With the news in the media, people started waving the guilty finger at Lil Baby, who denied having anything to do with the attack, of course. He jumped on Instagram to address the issue, and then so he wrote something in his story and it said, Stop spreading fake news. That's fake, please. Wait a minute though, Quavo is not exempted from the list of Migos member having beef with Lil Baby. Recently, Lil Baby had a beef with Quavo over the latter's ex-girlfriend, Sweetie. Sweetie's supposed relationship with Lil Baby first surfaced on social media in 2020 when the My Type hitmaker shared a selfie of herself in front of a mirror sitting on the lap of an unknown man. Now the super duper detective Eagle Eye fans done stitched together Sweetie's selfie and a post shared by Lil Baby at the same time. Lil Baby appeared to be wearing the similar black trousers and some shoes to those of the unknown guy in Sweetie's post. So then the possibility of them dating started circulating the internet like crazy. During that time, fans believe Quavo indirectly commented on the rumors in his Instagram story when he wrote, ain't tripping, we can swap it out. Hashtag QC the label. Now, the rumor has been reignited with a song called Messy in the recently released album Only Built for Infinity Links. Although Quavo doesn't mention the rappers by name in the track, some fans have explained why they think the song refers to them. Because he sings in the song, Carisha, please, cause she too messy. My dog behind my back, but I ain't stressing. You wanted the gang, you should have just said it, we would have just blessed it, now shit got messy. Lil Baby, however, denied the allegations in an interview where he said, nah, I had to move a certain way and I be trying my best. He was also asked whether he had a beef with the Migos generally, to which he replied, hell nah, I don't even want to comment on type stuff like that. 
I feel like when I comment on something, it makes it bigger. First of all, I really don't see shit on the internet. People send me shit and I be wanting to comment, but then I feel like that's just gonna make it even more. But they know I ain't got nothing going on with them. Sweetie also replied to the allegation in her Don't Say Nothing song. She rapped that, why I always speaking on who I'm on? He must have got excited when I FaceTime with nothing on. That slight better check my net worth. Post a pic in a sweatshirt, and I bet it had my ex hurt. That's what I get for kissing these frogs. Got mad and told my business to the blogs. Before the beef with Sweetie, Quavo and Lil Baby had been involved in a little small, tiny little tussle. This fight began when Migos performed the lead single, Straightening, at an exhibition boxing match at the Hard Rock Stadium in Florida, which was featuring Floyd Mayweather and Logan Paul. Quavo's opening lines in the song state, Act like something's been taken, ain't nothing but a little bit of straightening. Lil Baby appeared to be making fun of the line as he took to his Instagram story to post the now deleted photo allegedly mocking Quavo. Over a blank black background, Lil Baby simply wrote the line, ain't nothing but a little bit of straightening, followed by seven laughing emojis, though this didn't escalate like the dating rumor. With fans yearning for the truth behind the death of Takeoff, some have accused the Lil Baby group of having a hand in his untimely death while others came up with conspiracy theories that linked his death to the sudden rise of his fame under their newly formed band, Unkin Few. For those that don't know, the Migos broke up a few months back, and Quavo and Takeoff continued to promote their new rap band, Unkin Few. When the tragedy struck on the 7th of October, they released their first studio album as a duo, only built for Infinity Links, and a track from the album has been gaining widespread fame. It was one of the few songs with Takeoff rapping from the beginning of the song. Now, what made this track an unforgettable one by the fans was the fact that it had Takeoff and Quavo had just released a music video for the album before the sad incident. Fans concluded that Takeoff's hit was all planned by the record label, pointing out the length of the track as it played for exactly 3 minutes and 33 seconds. Fans believed that the runtime signifies something supernatural. They also pointed out that when Quavo began rapping his verse, the video showed him looking at a contract with the title Migos, while an object was pointing directly at the contract. What seemed to surprise fans the most was that while Quavo Quavo overlooked the paper, his facial expression changed and it showed that he was terrified by whatever was on it, and the fans had come to believe that it might have led to Takeoff's demise. However, these are all speculations. Rappers Offset and Quavo didn't immediately speak on the demise of Takeoff, and when they finally spoke, their words were heart-wrenching. During the funeral, Quavo spoke about his cousin recalling how he was always by his side and looked up to him since they were kids. Quavo said, Takeoff had always been by my side looking at me with the eyes. Same eyes you got as my sister, waiting on me to make the next move when you follow right behind me. You always made sure I did it first, so you could do it right with me. He also went on to post a lengthy tribute to him on Instagram. Offset also paid tribute to Takeoff during the funeral. He apologized to him for leaving the Migos, and he promised to focus on the brotherhood and the family. He summed up his tribute with, I don't want to question you, God, but I just don't get it. I don't get you sometimes, but I believe in you, Father. Takeoff is a legend in its own right in the hip-hop world and has left an indelible mark on it. It will take a while before his death can be forgotten, perhaps a century, but no doubt, he has left his mark on his rap industry forever. Rest in peace, Takeoff, never to be forgotten.